Hello guys and welcome to a new Steel Division video today by me Vulcan. Today I have for you mission 2 of the Operation Epsom campaign, Battle for the Odon. The mission order is as follows. Sir Colin, the Germans have been shaken by our breakthrough at show, but they are recovering quickly. We need to hurry and cross the Odon before they can reorganise. Your orders are to secure at least one bridge over that river and establish a beachhead on the other side. Core assets are on alert to give you support and exploit a crossing as soon as you have secured one. Be careful, the Germans won't easily let us set foot on the other side of the Odon and they are building for a counter-offensive. The main objective is defeat the Germans. Let's launch the battle. The German front is yielding, but has yet to break. The salient that our division has dug into has brought us within reach of Hill 112, but one major obstacle stands in our way, the Odon River. We have to secure a crossing before the Germans regain their footing and use it as a line of defence. The Germans have redirected every armoured unit in the sector towards us, not only are they protecting the river crossings, but they seem intent on retaking lost ground. Our mission is to secure at least one of those bridges and establish a beachhead on the other side of the Odon. It will be a head-on clash with some of the best German armoured units. The choice of the point of crossing is left to you, General. Support battle groups are waiting to advance, depending on which you secure. The Tilebosk Bridge is defended by an armoured battle group from 2nd SS Panzer. The area is mostly open country, with a wide range of fire. Pont Neuf is guarded by infantry, with artillery support, and a few armoured vehicles from 1st SS Panzer and 21st Panzer. The bridge lies in an extremely wooded area. The Mihe Bridge is held by our old nemesis from 12th SS Panzer, mostly Panzer Grenadier, supported by a few Panther tanks. Let's give Jerry a bloody nose. This is the Pont Neuf. Here is the Tailbosk Bridge. And finally the Mahay Bridge. Compose your battle group. So here we are in potentially one of the hardest missions in the Steel Division campaigns. I distinctly remember there being a firefly that spawns around this area at the start of the game that we're going to have to take care of. So that's probably what I'm going to focus on. I believe I focused on the Mahay Bridge first, actually, the first time around I played the mission and it seemed to work out. So we're probably going to push on the right side first. Let's compose our battle group. Bad weather has grounded the RAF, but one Oster observation plane is still able to fly at low altitude. It could prove useful in identifying enemy positions around each bridge. I'm going to take the two sets of scouts here. The Humber Mark IVs probably won't be too useful throughout this battle. Unlike vehicles, our infantry is able to ford rivers. This will be very useful to maneuver around the flanks of the German defenders around the bridges. I'm going to take both the rifle cards in phase A, as well as the rifle leader. Then into phase B, we'll just take more rifles, more rifle leader. Uh, I might even take a card of Assault Pioneers. The Assault Pioneers are really good for that close range engagement in the forests. Uh, whilst the rifles, especially when they're two star veterancy and ultimately three star veterancy with command nearby, are exceptional. So. Um, that will be quite a nice combination. Also, these rifle leader come in the command steward, which is really, really good. So worth bringing them in phase B as opposed to two cards in phase A. Survivors from 31st Tank Brigade are available now, along with a squadron of Sherman II in phase C. Useful in fire support, they are still inferior to their German medium tank counterparts. I'm definitely going to bring in these Shermans, mainly because... They're really good at exploiting breakthroughs with the extra HE capability versus infantry. You can really run down units very quickly and keep them pinned. Uh, we're going to need some honeys in phase A, but it's just a matter of choosing what Churchills we want to bring. 
We've got Churchill fours and uh, Churchill sixes. Now the Churchill fours actually have a better rate of fire on their main gun, but they don't have any HE. So that is a problem. So I'm probably going to go for the Churchill six over the Churchill four, just because they are much more useful for taking on infantry. We have received some crocodile flamethrower tanks, which are deadly efficient against infantry at close range. We do have some Churchills that have the 15 front armor. Of course, this is a crocodile because it's the flamethrower variant. I am likely to bring these in because they can be very useful against any armor except the Boys of Firefly that we're going to bump into and Panthers. Uh, other than that, there's not too much that can really defeat a crocodile max range. Like I think a Panzer IV will struggle. So that's where the crocodiles will come in handy. We definitely need supply, so I'm going to bring that in. Uh, we'll go for a crocodile or two in phase eight, although our income is pretty low. Uh, maybe we just go for three crocodiles in total and p potentially uh, some extra command. Although we have new tanks at our disposal, we should keep in mind that our 17-pounder AT guns remain our best weapons against German panzers. So we didn't use Piats much in the last mission. So I'm probably going to avoid bringing those. I think I'm just going to focus on bringing in the 6-pounders. Uh, we, then we're going to bring in 17-pounders for Phase B with one of the two star ones. That should be fine. Our artillery has just been reinforced with self-propelled priest and observers for heavy artillery batteries. I suggest we use this firepower to crush the German troops around the bridges before assault. So the priests are really nice because they have the 15 HE and their mobile, uh, which basically means they don't get left behind when you make a big breakthrough. So I'm tempted to just bring in like the priests in phase B, although having some phase A artillery would be useful as well. So maybe we go for like a 25 pounder in phase A and then a couple of priests in phase B. We have an extra slot actually that I could use for some off map. And since the Churchill OP with 140 mil is a bit useless, I think the uh, 203 millimeter off map should be more desired. Assuming it gets to phase C, we'll have to see how quickly we can complete this mission. But that looks about right. Not too much. I think I'd change. Let's validate it and carry on. So we're going to start with a few AT guns on this right side. And I'm just going to cover this road as best I can, as I believe that's where they come down. So let's deploy a few AT guns. Of course, I have played the missions before, so I do kind of know what happens. It, it does vary as the mission goes on because of the AI and how they react to what you're doing. But um, at the start, it, it's pretty much the same. And I'm pretty sure they just attack you down this road. So I should uh, be good to go. I'll bring in some recon just that can kind of spot the units coming down the road and we'll just deploy them here. I'll just have them shift unload. And then I'll give that an order to, to leave. So what's going to happen is the scouts will unload and then the universal carrier will just drive behind cover. That's the plan. Um, then we're going to need some rifles probably to just cover this right hand tree line. Uh, we don't want any panzer grenadiers to get the better of us. Uh, all of these guys can just go towards this tree line. We'll have them relatively spread just so they don't get pinned down all at once. And um, yeah, they can just all shift unload. Okay, on the right side, we're going to need some rifles. Just hold the front line here. Uh, we've got uh, the universal carrier that will hold the front line there. Otherwise, we just need uh, rifles on pretty much every road. And actually, I could maybe put another rifle squad here. Because unless there's troops that start here at the start on the far left... We could probably get all the way up to the river, right? Because vehicles won't be coming across at least. So I, I'm tempted to try that. The other thing I'm going to do is bring some recon on this left side. Uh, because then I can sort of scout out what is here before I actually attack it. 
And also if I put it into these trees, then I should have decent recon information. Yeah, assuming that they don't spot that coming. Uh, so we'll have one of these rifle squads head to one of those buildings. We'll have one gop on the left side. I won't unload these yet because I'm not sure if I need to. I might be able to exploit quite a lot of ground. Uh, these ones can just try and get as far as I can and unload. And this one may as well just go to the edge of the tree line. Right, and we'll save the rest of the points. We've got a 45 left. Uh, those can go towards potentially a phase A crocodile. I think that's what I'm going to go for. Cool. Let's launch the battle. Bloody hell. The 12 SS Panzer appears to have salvaged one of our fireflies. If we let them turn it against us, they will give us a hard time. Yeah, so no surprise there really on this right side, but we should be able to ambush them quite nicely. Uh, let's unload these guys because they can see them. These AT guns will push into the tree line and then we can smash them to pieces. We've got the Alster that we can use. <laughs> it's too easy. Oh my. <laughs> that was so lame. It's like, oh no, there's a firefly. Oh, it's dead. Never mind. <laughs> Great. And the Alistair has been forced back by the 20 mil. And we'll have these AT guns move to the right. Let's uh, move this command carrier around. I'm also going to have the rifle leader move into these trees. The command carrier can start shooting at these uh, Panzergrens and so on. I think that's also potentially a Panzer Shrek. So, I might need some recon here. I guess the other thing I could do is, is maybe move up this universal carrier, but saying that the 250-10 will likely cause issue. And that's, that's killed by the 6-pounder. That's good. Let's have these uh, fall back. The six pounder can kill the 25010. There we go. Bail out. Juicy. And yeah, we can take ground on this left side. Let's do that while we're here. Let's have a look around here. We can give some fire support, sir. Nice. Tommy's ready for battle. If that's pinned. I'm tempted to run it down, but I know that there is a panzer track here, right? So I need to go like so. And since the 25010s are dead, I can get the scouts to move up, which should help me spot the panzer track as well. Right, and with that, uh, we can afford that crocodile I was saving for. And we shall bring in some extra rifles. Uh, we can see some stuff on this left side. There is a Stug there. Not sure that I'm going to be able to do much about that. Unless I potentially bring in a six pounder already. And then kind of kill stuff on this right side. Slowly but surely. I mean those half tracks should be in the 1000 meter range right. So I could maybe get away with doing that. Let's try it. Is that another 250-10? I think it is. I'm not sure if I killed that panda track. Kind of awkward. Can I pick up a 6-pounder with a command carrier? I always forget. Now a good thing about our rifle placement at the start is it means that they haven't got many points, like only 265 and counting. It's 52% territory. The reason I'm doing this is uh, mainly just to get a 6-pounder across that can take on the 250-10 sooner than this one. Oh wow, that universal carrier got killed. Okay, I did not see that coming. The range on that was very deceiving. Need a ride. Moving out. 
but at least we got it. That's good. So I am tempted to go for this 25 pounder now, just so that we have that artillery support available. Meanwhile, the rifles need to be protecting our flanks. Those Panzergrands do so much damage, it's ridiculous. At the 400 meter range where both of their MGs open up, it's scary. Thankfully, my rifles are in heavy cover, so they won't take as much damage from that engagement as they otherwise would. On this left side, if I'm going to ambush with the 6 pounder, I'm going to need some command there. Right, I'm moving up the crocodile aggressively, then I'll put it on attack move. There goes the Panzergrenz. Let's move the scouts over to the left, and we'll bring in another unit of scouts. Good. The six pounder can move into the tree line here, and we'll put that on return fire so that it doesn't reveal its position. I'll have the command move over here and unload. Alright, we pin down those Panzergrenz. One thing I will need to do is make sure that my rifle leaders stay close. Because otherwise there's potential that if the rifles discover something, they will get surrendered very quickly. Especially by the machine guns that the Panzergrenz can use. We're just out of range of the second 251, but uh, we can hit the first one. I am in charge here. I don't mind the crocodile getting too close, uh, just as long as it's not 250 meter range because of panda strikes. Which is kind of annoying because the crocodile has 240 meter range on its flamethrower, I believe. 260 meters actually. Uh, but it's still like too close to like really risk it against the Panzerschreck. Like, it doesn't take a Panzerschreck uh, squad long to walk 10 meters. Alright, so let's unload the scouts. We'll move those up. The rifles did actually take out the Panzergrenz there very nicely. These ones probably won't do as well. That's okay. Can we get line of sight onto them? Mm, not likely. We just gotta hope that these rifles do the job. Let's unload this rifle leader and I'll take a shot. Move that up. My scouts will get into the 100 meter range and they do do quite a bit of damage with the two star veteran scene, so we can probably kill off the Panzergrenz there. Yeah, we got it. Okay, so let's just bring in a couple more rifle squads. Uh, what we can do is push across uh, the bridge, uh, take this town, and then push to the left towards Point Neuf. Waiting for orders. Enemy spotted. Be ready. How long until phase B, actually? Because I'd like to get like a 1,200 meter range AT gun in position here somewhere. That will support us with the attack on the left side. There is some infantry coming down this road. That would be another reason that I would require a crocodile, potentially. Yeah, I think there's like reinforcements coming in across the board. Actually, let's leave that AT gun on the right side of that tree line. We're going to have one move up on the left side. 
one just like straight up the road. If these are Panzergrens, I don't want to unload them early, so I'm just going to keep my rifles on return fire. Might move these rifles into a position to sort of intercept them as well. Because if I get into the 100 meter range, rifles defeat Panzergrens since they have 8 HE versus 5 HE. We did get some reinforcements here as well. Two crocodiles, an AVRE, and a couple of Achilles. It's very nice, actually. Maybe I should just send them all over to the left. Because I don't need to take that next bridge. Or, like, take the town with those. I could just use those all on this left side. Let's just take them all. Actually, it might leave the AVRE, just because it's exceptionally slow. And it is quite useful in that close range engagement. Backing out the trees there. I want them to get as close as possible before I move in. There we go. That way we definitely get the advantage. Those honeys just going straight through. No care in the world. Let's bring in the two-star, 17-pounder, over on this left side. So we have a relatively strong position there. Yes, sir. I'm also going to bring in the recon on this right side. I'm not sure if we killed the 20 mil. I don't think we did. But um, at least it will give away its position. Could actually push forward these rifles on the far right side. So decent idea. Oh, that's nasty. Look at that. The swarm. This is where off-map comes in handy. Unfortunately, we don't have any available yet. But uh, those rifles probably don't want a suicide right now, if I'm completely honest. Uh, so let's pull back. We'll have the crocodile close. I'll have the AVRE come around the corner as well. And then any units that decide to poke out and get killed. Oh, there's a large chunk of units coming down this road as well. I'm going to have to deploy short. Setting up, sir. It's a tiger. Shit. Okay. Taxi ready. Um, hmm. Yeah, we're going to have to back off. A six pound has been discovered. <laughs> Not good. Uh, let's bring in some more 17 pounders here. We'll create a wall. One of these units, Panzer IV, Stoke Three, just a bunch of infantry. Okay. One more kill. Oh, there's some 88s. Well, that's going to require some artillery, so we'll bring some arty with us. I'm probably going to buy in a priest, and we'll use it to take out that 88. I guess the biggest issue on this left side actually is a panda track. I guess I have the scouts to kind of spot it, but if it comes through the tree line, then there's no chance really that I'll spot it in time before it fires. And that's a problem. Hmm. Doesn't look like they're, like they're attacking, so I might go over to the left side. I do need to leave that command here. But uh, those AT guns can definitely move over to the left side and we can triple AT gun that. Yes, sir. Let's have that full back. And I'll move these scouts forwards on this left side and we'll put them on return fire. But at least the crocodile will be able to shoot at that 20 mil. There we go. Also these tanks are almost there. Um, the Achilles. And get into position in this orchard. Okay, that's a Panzer IV trying to take on a crocodile. 
Panzer Force C as well, <laughs> the forefront armor. It's just really bad. <laughs> Yeah, those tanks are lining up for the kill here. It's beautiful. We can give some fire support, sir. Need to make sure they go the uh, the top way around because I don't want the Bedford trucks to be revealed. That's the Panzer trucks dead. That's a cue ball. Uh, my priest can start firing at the 88. Okay, and now we can have these AT guns move into position. I'll have the 6 pounder move up a little bit as well. Good. Right, the only other thing that I want to bring in at this point is either more 17 pounders or another crocodile. I guess I could bring in some more infantry. Maybe if I wanted to push through these trees. But I think I'm just going to move up the, the rifles here and we'll have a look. See if there's anything that I really want to kill. Because then I can just use the AVRE regardless. Oh, that needs to be careful. Right, how are we doing, Priest? Just give that another attack order so it refreshes. So these rifles seem to be clear for the most part. Let's bring in another crocodile hit. Those ET guns can start firing away. We'll have them both push into the tree line at the same time. Along with the six pounder. And hopefully we'll just wipe out all of those units nice and quick. Well, there is a Vespa as well. Let's shoot the Vespa with the six pounder. That's the tiger gone though. Well, the Vespa does quite a bit of damage, doesn't it? I didn't realize it could direct fire like that. These Panzer fours getting the better of my 17 pounders. Hopefully, not for long. about the Germans movement on our whole front. We should expect counterattack, sir. I'm going to have to retreat here. The Stem pioneers are too strong. They've also got pioneers as well. So, ideally I'm going to have to use assault pioneers for the most part, but they'll probably trade one for one, which kind of sucks. I guess what I could do if they just get if they don't have any Panzergrens now is just use Churchills and stuff. Well, hello Brumbeer. Right, we're going to have the crocodiles move forwards on this left side. We'll bring in a bunch of rifles that can push with this armor. And let's kill off that 88. Yeah, that is a bunch of half tracks. That's for sure. Shame we're not in phase C and we can't use that off map because I know where I'd place it. <laughs> Alright, the crocodile is getting involved here. These rifles are going to have to do a run out. This poor guy die. I, I really don't want them to die because I'd like to have the phase A ability. Or A availability, sorry. Oh, there's a large chunk of units here. Uh, that's going to be the last place for my 17 pounders, I think. Let's have this rifleman just run away. Uh, we'll make sure that the squads remain alive, that are low. And then we'll replace them. Just like they would in real life. This 25 pounder I really haven't been using enough. <laughs> Tell you that much, right? Let's move this uh, crocodile back. Uh, I don't know why that 88 is not dead yet. It should be, but it's not. Uh, I'm gonna unload these guys just so they don't die. With the 88 as well, 
and we'll start to just attack me attack move those forwards. Go, cool. go on, priest. Just go on, bang that for me. I guess I could like twenty five pound of the Kubel MG. <laughs> that could be something to do. I don't have command here, so I'm gonna have to bring that in. Okay, there goes the AT8. Beautiful. What is that firing at? Oh, it's just the Stug. Right now that crocodile needs to move forwards aggressively anyway. Okay. I guess what I could do here, since the AI is just <laughs> rampaging through with a bunch of tanks is I could move from right to left and then take point nerf so I think I'm going to do that uh, we'll bring in the Shermans to help out I'm just going to sort of kill all of these units uh, with the 17 pounders and they're moving away okay oh. I'm going to have to make sure I react appropriately to that Ooh, those rifles a little close for comfort there. Fortunately, 17 pounder saves the day. Very nice. It's the instant surrender for us. Otherwise, those rifles would have been in trouble. I guess I could probably still unload them here, right? Let's push across to the left. What's up, sir? Got two crocodiles and an aviary. <laughs> what can go wrong? Everybody out. Awaiting instructions. Section at your orders, sir. Enemy spotted. Completely forgot Achilles had 50 cows. Start moving forwards with the 17 pounds a little bit. And I'm going to bring up the command carriage to support against infantry. As soon as the AVRE gets involved. These infantry squads will just get one shot. Now, I think in the mission you don't actually have to take all of the bridges. It's just secondary objectives. But where's the fun in that, right? <laughs> Let's just take them all. Hopefully the crocodile will get the better of the Panzer IV. That is the plan at least. Oh, those rifles are going to die for sure. Yep. Well, they surrendered. Getting all of these tanks really close is actually yes, really risky. Move the rifle leader forwards on the left side just so that I can get that Achilles to actually hit something since it has no veterancy usually. Good. So we've got basically two offensives going on at the moment. We've got one on the right side here and one on the left. Look at that panther G. 
I could wipe out that entire push. Let's have the rifle leader actually come over to the crocodile here. And I'm going to start bringing in a couple of Shermans that can push on this side. And we'll just kind of sandwich the center with a good old pincer movement. Panther G? Or Panzer G? Panzer 4G. <laughs> Probably want to arty that. Uh, I do have a rifle leader that might be able to hit it with a pier, but I'm not too hopeful. should definitely get the recon across and I should probably bring in some recon here. We've got them. Delighted, sir. Truly delighted. Successful hit. Section at your order, sir. It's burning. I do actually really like having so many units available to use. I find it really, really fun. And we could even bring in more. Like, we could just do a, like a straight up Churchill push. Like, that would be really fun. Move back to 17 pounder. I'm, I'm afraid that's being targeted by the artillery. <laughs> Epic face palm. <laughs> And while I'm reacting to that, I lose units on this right side. What a joke. <laughs> uh. <laughs> so that's one of the two star 17 pounders dead, unfortunately. Actually, that might have just been a... I don't think that was a two star one. I think that was a one star one. But still, it's irritating. Now, how come they can see this one? That's just cheating. Straight up cheating. Okay. <laughs> The only way I can see this from being dealt with is uh, with a priest. So we're going to move a priest up there. I'm going to bring this 17 pound or the 6 pounder back just because I'm a little bit worried about whatever's in these cue balls. We could actually be Panzer Shrek, so I need to definitely bring in some more infantry here to secure my surroundings. Let's bring in some assault pioneers. The only place where a Piat would be useful at the moment. I need to get some more command infantry here as well. I'm just moving these Achilles to a point where they can snipe on this road against the Panzer Fours. A really abstract line of sight, but I should be able to catch out a couple tanks through there. I could also just move up the 17 pounder on the left side. I just don't want to give the Vespa a target. Is that a Panzer Shrek? I bet you that's a Panzerjack. No, it's a Flamen Verfa. That's actually not so bad. Okay. Let me take out the Panzergram there, which is nice. Although my rifles are just as likely to die. Ooh, the 259 flank. Don't think that's going to matter too much. Okay, we did lose a unit of rifles. Yes, sir. It sucks. There goes the Blimbia. Nice. Yes, Move the chairman back. Oh, nasty. Very nasty. Okay, 
it's fallen back. And the crocodile died, but uh, I think we're going to be able to push up onto the Panzer IV. Never mind, the Panzer IV recovered really quickly. I just need it to uh, fall back. Like super risky. <laughs> I should have probably waited for the infantry rather than like sacrificing these Shermans and crocodiles and stuff. But there we go. <laughs> like we're also pushing very hard on this right side. Thankfully, we should be taking it soon. We have secured the pond there. There we go. Engineers are on their way to exploit the crossing. Oh, we took we took this one. Okay, so we're gonna have taken them all. Yeah, there we go. Beautiful. Uh, there is a Jagdpanzer on the way. I guess what we're going to want to do is just kind of ambush that with all we got. So let's just have the Achilles stay back or move the rifle leader over there. Ooh. No, we don't want to engage at that range. Yeah. <laughs> That's not good for our Achilles. <laughs> we need the Jagdpanzer to be closer than that. Oh, the 17 panel on the left actually might get it. That would be good. There goes the Jagdpanzer. Nice. And with that, we can kind of push forwards a bit more with the Churchills. Give us a good firing position. Be alert, soldiers. Sir, yes, sir. This entire AI push got crushed on the right side. Did I bring in that off map eventually? I did. Oh no, that's a uh, couple priests we've got from the reinforcements. We've also got all of these units on the left side. So let's move those up as well. Uh, I may as well put that back in the command stuart. Oh, look at that artillery. How gross. Absolute sniper. Right, at least the AI is just gonna like plow through everything now because we've basically destroyed most of the enemy forces already. I'm just going to put all of these into a single group. Not really sure what I want to do with the off map, if I'm completely honest. I guess I could maybe target something here. I'm glad they're giving us a lot of infantry to push with. It means I don't have to sacrifice as much of my own. Is that a panzer? Like a panther, sorry. No, it's a uh, panzer 4G. That's not too bad. We are going to lose a Sherman, though, I feel. All my six pounders are alive, so I could move them across quite easily. But I don't really want the panzer guns to kill the six pounder. <laughs> Look at this push. <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> There's so many units coming through. It's like all the Cromwells, the Cromwell 4, got the, the Cromwell 6s, got the Crocodiles, 
German 2s, it's like an abundance of different units, very cool. Let's have a, a quick look at these. Yeah, we've got our crocodiles coming through, oh, there's a Stuart coming up the road, giving it a bit of a nudge. Classic British push this is. I think I'm losing them Sherman 2s over here. <laughs> Oops. Okay. Yeah, and that panther's causing problems. I guess we can overwhelm their spawns, that's for sure. <laughs> Again, get enough guns on target, it doesn't matter if they're panthers or what. <laughs> one dealt with. I guess I can move up on this left side and maybe get map control there. Ready, sir. We're very close. I, I want to say very close to winning, but we're not really. 2,150 points out of 4,000 is what we require. But there's four minutes until the end of the of the mission I think Ready, sir. and if we're ahead in score I think we still win so should be fine I don't know why the Reki are insistent on killing themselves but that's okay uh, let's just throw that grenade at the 259 hopefully it will kill it there we go you can use those big HE shells to those HE grenades from the uh, assault pioneers to kill light armored vehicles Definitely worth doing. Let's use some of that off map. And make sure that crocodile is getting the hell out of there. Alright, let's just uh, do an AI and uh, push attack move like the whole way across with no care in the world and <laughs> just secure the rest of the ground. Are you kidding? There is a Panzer Shrek right here. <laughs> Not for long. Took an AVRE shot to the face. Mm, that poor Panzer IV. Don't ask me how it is still alive. There is a Command Churchill. Oh, well, sorry. In this group, so yeah. It should actually hit something. The Cromwell's zooming ahead. <laughs> Love it. One minute left. We've encircled the remaining forces here. I might leave one of these Cromwells near the spawn. But that is complete and utter domination. It's just on this right side that there are still some heavier tanks alive. But a plus five is, is all good. With 58 seconds left on the clock. I realise I've left a lot of units behind throughout this game. Like I could have probably moved up the 17 pounder with a command steward and stuff like that, but it doesn't really matter. Yes, sir. 
and I've also got 1,645 points to spare. <laughs> and there are certainly things I could buy, but nothing that I really want to waste in this mission, so... Yeah, we're good. I guess I could do, like, a control all, and then, like, attack move to the corner. Stay here. Roger. There you go. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> this is how you lose units. <laughs> Would not recommend. <laughs> is that the panther? Yeah, I think it is. The crossing over the Odon is secured, sir, and a strong beachhead established. We've played our part well. And there goes a Cromwell 5 <laughs> right at the end there. The full 40 minutes has passed, and the battle for the Odon is complete. I feel like for a beginner, it's it's a very difficult battle, actually. Uh, trying to get past that Firefly initially, especially if you don't know it's coming. Uh, I, I guess it would probably do quite a bit of damage. But we cleaned it up early on. I think we managed the left side really well. Uh, especially when they were apparently trying to attack us. But I think we'd already killed the forces that were supposed to do that. Let's have a look at some of these kills. AT guns did me proud, that's for sure. And the crocodile supported very well indeed. We got the AVRE there with plenty of kills. It killed a couple of panzer treks for us. And the 17 pounder with the Jagd Panzer kill, as well as the Tiger and the two Panzer Fours and the Vespa. Wow. It's like one 17 pounder did all of the work. Then we had uh, the crocodile again. Panzer fours just don't stand up to crocodiles very well because of the 15 front armor. Definitely a way to get the better of the AI. And well, not too many losses. In the end, just one 17 pounder went down. We lost two squads of rifles. I'm hoping those are phase B rifles because I won't really have to worry too much if that is the case we did lose one rifle leader which i believe was one of the squads from phase a which is troubling but we still have a card of i think of three available so it's not going to affect the next mission too much but all in all successful battle job well done hopefully you guys have enjoyed it thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next mission goodbye